Hey, my lovelies, and welcome back to What's Cooking with Lolo. Of course, it's your girl, Lolo, and thanks for returning uh, to see what your girl got cooking for you today. Today, I have the loin cut portion of the lamb. Definitely something different. Don't cook this all the time. Uh, very rarely cook it, maybe twice or three times during the year. Um, but I was tasting lamb, so I went and got some lamb. I came home and uh, washed them in some cold water and apple cider vinegar. You guys know. Um, I got them lined out on a sheet here on some paper towel to help with the drying. Dried them off and let's get this party started. All right, so we got our seasoning here. You know, it will be in the description box what the seasoning is. You know, I always put it into a container instead of touching all my containers as we, you know, touching the meat here. So let's start to season these. Now, it looks like a lot of seasoning. We're not probably not going to use all of it, but you know how I do, right? You know I like my meat to be seasoned. I don't like no bland meat. And if I'm cooking it, then I'm going to cook it the way I like it, right? So, we're going to give the lamb a good rub. Now you can do this and only season in it for um, marinating it a couple of hours. I like to do mine overnight, especially when it comes to lamb. All right, so let's get these suckers flipped and season the other side. I got them all flipped over, took the paper towel from under the bottom. Now we're gonna season the other side. Now you see I'm holding the camera as I'm doing this. I was too lazy to go get the tripod. And I got my fiance over here in the corner making sure that these are getting done right because this is his recipe of doing these. So he's making sure that, um, you know, I don't mess it up. He cooks very good lamb. And this is a recipe that I'm sharing with you guys today. All right, so let's get this in a freezer bag and in the fridge. Again, I do um, recommend marinating these overnight, but since I didn't do that because I was too lazy, I'm going to give them a marination of six hours. You can do two, you can do three, but um, overnight is the best. But it's fine. We're going to work with what we got today. All right, guys. Put them all in a big freezer bag. Now I'm going to add in some soy sauce in there and some fresh garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, that's fine. Uh, you can skip this portion, but I'm going to put this in there for the marination. All right, so you see, got the garlic in there, got the um, soy sauce. If you don't have soy sauce, you can use Worcestershire sauce. Um, instead, it works just as good. So, I'm gonna put this camera down. And get this all through here. And put it in the fridge. See you guys back in about six hours. Right, so let's get our lamb started. I got the pot already on here, and we're gonna go around the pan a couple of times with your extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna sear our lamb first. I had the meat marinating for about six and a half hours now. Like I said, I recommend it marinating overnight, but sometimes that's not possible. And it wasn't possible. So I'm gonna put my lamb in. and get them seared up there and remember try to always have your pan waiting for you and not the other way around and I don't want to crowd the pan too much I have a lot of lamb here to cook so I'm going to be doing this in batches it's been about four minutes. 
Now turn them over. About three minutes. That's good enough. I'm trying to sear them, not cook them. Just yet. All right, so we're gonna let that go for about another three minutes. So it's been about three minutes. Now, you notice how on the sides, they do have some fat. Let's see if we can get these to stand up and sear some of that fat as well. If you can, that's great. If you can't, that's fine. This is the way my fiance cooks it. He takes his time with it. I don't want to be in here all night trying to cook no lamb. So, we're doing the Lolo's way tonight. So, again, if it can stand, that's fine. If not, don't worry about it. So, they're seared on the second side. So we're gonna take them out now. So we can finish up our lamb. It smells so good. Now these pieces are tight thick. All the more better. In here, we're going to take our red peppers, get those cooking down. I cut up one, excuse me, two red peppers, two onions, Now, we're gonna have some garlic in here, you know that, of course, but we're not gonna put that in there just yet. So let's give that a good stir. Get all that flavor from the bottom there. Cause that's all flavor, baby. That's flavor town right there. I'm also gonna add in four tablespoons of butter. To help with all this flavor eruption here. This is 12 cloves of chopped fresh garlic that we're going to put in. If you don't have fresh garlic, that's fine. You can use that minced garlic that's already, you know, chopped for you. I always make it a point to use fresh garlic because that's just what I like. The taste is totally different from what you buy in those containers that's already already chopped but it's fine to use i've used them in the past until i got turned on to the fresh garlic so it's just a preference of mine that's it for you got a cup of red wine all right so after you add the red wine i let it cook down for about another three four minutes now i have one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes now we're going to add in and give that a good mix. You got to mix that up real good there. I have one more thing to add. I have four cuts, cups of chicken broth that we actually going to put in there and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of red pepper flakes in there to your liking you can skip that part you don't have to use red pepper flakes but i do recommend it all right look at this stew here baby yeah put a little pepper in there and again put the pepper into your preference so with that pepper I got one chicken bouillon cube here. I'm gonna crush now, it up and put it in there. 
at this point it really does not need anything if you feel it does then add in you know whatever it is else that you want to add in but at this point right here it is fine we'll test it again when it's done and add in any other little thing but usually this works perfect the way it is so let's get our lamb chops down in here one by one let's get these babies in this beautiful bath here of red wine crushed tomatoes onions red pepper crushed garlic and remember these lamb was marinating for six hours overnight would have just hit it right on the head but even still this is really good all right so that's the last of it now let's just take our spoon here and get some juice over them good so I still have this here on on medium high I'm gonna let them cook down for about an hour to an hour and a half we'll check back in an hour for their doneness and see what we're working with all right so it's been about an hour and this is where we are with our lamb. I'm gonna add in a 14 ounce can of carrots to this. And give that a stir. Mm, looking good, smelling good. this continue to cook for another half an hour 40 minutes so it's been an hour and 45 minutes we are done let's get these plated up so our lamb is complete let's pour some juice on it Put some rice at the bottom if you like or some noodles and there we have it.